Five police issue a warning to retailers in this busy shopping season to watch out for shoplifters. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Aaron Davis and Tom Zalaski has this night off. Well, not everyone is shopping this holiday season. Some are shoplifting. And in Ashwabadan, as Chris Jula reports, police are calling attention to chronic offenders in hopes of discouraging would-be grinches. Ashwabadan is a community with lots of retail stores, but Lieutenant Brian Amundsen says, unfortunately, every day his department takes two to five phone calls reporting a retail theft. It is a big issue for our retailers, and uh, so we, we treat it as such. So Ashwabadan Public Safety has taken to social media in an effort to combat shoplifting by posting on the department's Facebook page images of those convicted of a second or more offense of retail theft in this community. We understand at times, you know, it may make the person uncomfortable, but to a point, that's what we're trying to do. While some may consider shoplifting to be a relatively minor crime, try telling that to the shop owners who deal with the fallout. You know, I think sometimes it's one of those things where you say, well, it's someone takes something here or there, it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, all that adds up, and not only at one store, but across the board. In fact, the National Retail Federation says shoplifting cost retailers $50 billion in 2016. And Walters applauds Ashwabanon's decision to put offenders' faces online. It's fairly embarrassing to them, I would imagine, and I would guess they would be much less likely to try it again then. Some people don't like the fact that we're putting people's images out there. Um, and a lot of people do. Overwhelmingly, the response is very positive. We want them to think, you know, that was a really stupid decision, and I don't want to do that again because I'm jeopardizing myself as a person. A tactic aimed to make people think Facebook postings to stop criminal behavior. Reporting.